Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boyan Dulabik here. So, are you looking for an alternative to DJI's thumb wheel for the Osmo Pocket that only costs a few bucks? Stay tuned. Okay guys, so um, I have my cell phone right here. Here's the pocket camera right here and it's already attached, uh, wirelessly hooked up. So I'm moving the gimbal as you can see right here. Now, you know, this is all fine and dandy and the, the on-screen joystick, it's fine. You know, it, it does what it's supposed to do. However, with me, I, you know, I don't like on-screen joysticks, right? I, I would prefer to have an actual physical button. So how do we solve this problem without buying that wheel, which I'm not a fan of either, the thumb wheel, whatever it's called. So very simple, let me put this down. Um, this guy right here. Now, this looks kind of funky. Um, you have to just take it off. This is actually a, uh, a gaming, um, well, kind of joystick. So this thing moves around and this is meant for cell phones. It's meant for gaming, but in this case, it will do the exact same thing. So all you have to do is you uh, just make sure you line it up. Let me see, just line it up right here and this should be fine. And uh, there is rubber on the other side, so it will not come off. So you can move it down, right? Um, obviously, within reasons, if you, you know, move it too fast, it will come off. But right now, let's give it a shot. Let's see here how we doing and... <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, actually, that was a, a good uh, point that I was going to talk about. Um, it, it's not 100%, so sometimes it won't register. Now, that could be to the due to the fact that maybe I didn't position it perfectly. Um, no, no, it seems to be fine. So, as you can see right now, this is working just fine, right? And here we go. Uh, and, you know, it, uh, so a couple of things when it comes to this thing. Um, this is great if you want if you want to move the gimbal uh, very precisely if you want to just move it just a bit as I see not, again not registering okay you know what I'm starting to think I didn't place it properly let me let me see okay There you go. Okay. All right. There you go. So it can be finicky, um, but now it's working. Uh, so the strength of this uh, guy is also its weakness, which is that it's very precise, and this is designed for slow uh, movements. There you go. It's really being finicky. It usually isn't this finicky, but of course I'm recording, so it's going to be a pain. Um, so yeah, like I said, the strength is also its weakness, which is that it's it's only it only moves very precisely, very slowly, as you can see right here, because the actual um, this little um, um, uh, disc, whatever you want to call it, can only move as far as the outer uh, disc, right? So it can't go any more than that, which impacts the speed. Now, to me, that works fine because the reason I like this thing is because it allows me to be precise, right? And I can move slowly and, uh, you know, just be more precise, right? Uh, if, I, if I do need things uh, to go faster, then I would take it off and uh, then, you know, you can move, um, you can, you know, move the thumb much further, right? Um, which is fine. So, you know, this isn't a perfect solution, but to me, this solution is much better than that uh, thumb wheel, simply because with that thumb wheel, you can only go left or right or up and down, right? Um, but if you want to go diagonally or if you want to go kind of, you know, you start moving in one direction. Okay, this is really being a pain right now. There you go. You start moving and then you kind of want to go up or, you know, whatever the case might be. Maybe you want to do a sort of a circle, something like this. Well, 
you can't really do that with the wheel, right? And that's the problem. Uh, I don't, for the love of me, understand why they dis why they dis just didn't put a uh, some kind of a joystick like this. And I mean, you could still have a switch where it switches from joystick to um, the, the same uh, type of a uh, up, down, left, and right kind of a scenario. So you sort of lock it down. Um, I'm pretty sure it's doable. It doesn't seem that uh, difficult to do. Uh, okay, camera, there you go. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's uh, that's the thumbstick right here. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, this uh, little guy right here is pretty useful, it's pretty cool. It only costs a few bucks. I paid seven Canadian dollars. So in the US, it's probably gonna cost you about, I don't know, two, three, maybe five bucks at the most. Uh, obviously, depending on which one you get. I will find links, uh, so check out the description. It will all be there as always. And um, also stay tuned, I do plan on doing more of these let's call them hack accessories uh, videos for the Osmo Pocket. I'm finding more and more interesting things, repurposing uh, things that, you know, in a different way to use with the Osmo Pocket, which is pretty cool. So stay tuned for that. And I, I am working on my big accessories video as well. And I've got some pretty cool stuff there that I think you will enjoy as well. So that out of the way, uh, as I mentioned, this guy right here, really cool. For some reason, in this video, uh, it didn't register a lot of times, which I didn't find. I don't find, uh, you know, I don't usually have that problem normally. So, you know, it could be just Murphy's Law, you know, it could be whatever. I don't want to edit edit anything. So I'm just showing you the raw uh, video because sometimes things go wrong. Well, that's life. It is what it is. But all in all, I do find it pretty cool. It's definitely a much more much improved way of uh, moving the gimbal as opposed to the on-screen one um, especially if you want to be precise and that's really what this is about if you want to be precise you get this if you want to move the gimbal very quick this is not your friend so you're going to have to stick to the um, on-screen um, joystick in that case so you know you can always go back and forth i mean it's very easy to take off boom right uh be be careful not to lose this so it does come this version anyway it does come with this keychain thing that uh you just you just take off right and there's a magnet there i can definitely see people lose this so be careful i wouldn't put it on your keychain i got a little little bag where i keep everything that's where i stash this guy because otherwise it's easy to lose so that's it guys um that's it in for this video. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. Stay tuned for more, tell your friends, and all that good stuff. Thanks.